Well, everyone, there are so many leaks coming around for the Google Pixel 7a, and I cannot wait until this phone comes out. There are, and personally for me, I think this phone, the Pixel 6a, and the whole entire A series from the Pixel lineup has been incredible. Since the first Pixel 3a, that was a very good phone. I love that phone so much, and now with the Pixel 7a, I do think this is going to be a pretty good improvement coming from the Pixel 6a. I do want to kind of say one major thing though, if you have a Pixel 6a, you are probably going to be set for a few years. I mean, this phone is not going to be outdated, and I don't really think Google is going to change up the design of the Pixel 6a to the Pixel 7a. I think it's pretty much going to be in line with the Pixel 7, kind of, you know, in terms of the, this, you know, kind of the way it looks. But like I said before, if you're trying to go and get like a massive redesign, the Pixel 6a is it. I don't think Google is going to be changing this design, at least for the next maybe like two years. I would say the Pixel 7a definitely staying consistent. But a big thing that's going to be happening now, which is pretty crazy, is that the Pixel 7a could actually come with a 90 hertz display. This is by far one of the weirder things, in my opinion, that Google kind of hasn't put on their A lineup yet. I thought they were going to do it for the Pixel 5a for some reason. I don't know why they, I thought they did it. The Pixel 6a was a big enough change in general to kind of merit, you know, maybe delaying that 90 hertz display if they really wanted to, to push features out. But one of my biggest disappointments with the Pixel 6a, it's a perfect, it's a really good phone for the price. The problem with it though is that 90, is that panel, you know, it's 60 hertz, but it's a very glitchy feeling 60 hertz display. I don't know how to describe it. it you know i've had phones like the pixel 3 that aren't as glitchy even the pixel 2 that i mess around with sometimes is still not a glitchy display i don't know what it is with these pixel 6a's that are just glitchy to me i'm not too sure why so if out if google can go ahead and actually put in that 90 hertz panel on this phone that can help smoothen out a lot of these types of issues that i'm having so i think personally that is a really cool thing google can do and looking forward i would actually be really happy about that if Google can throw in like a 90 hertz panel on their Pixel 7a, I think that would be a massive feature. And honestly, that would be one of the main reasons a majority of people would go and upgrade from maybe a Pixel 6a, but especially from a Pixel 5a and a 4a up to the Pixel 7a. Now, they're also saying the cameras in the back are going to be improved. They're also stating that it could probably bring wireless charging. I think personally, that would be another really big thing. They still have yet to put in wireless charging on their phones, which is very interesting for the A lineup. They have for the, obviously the Pixel 7s, the Pixel 7s have a reverse wireless charging. So I think this time they could probably bring, you know, standard wireless charging and then maybe the Pixel 8a, maybe the Pixel 9a will end up bringing reverse wireless charging to their A lineup. But I hope they end up keeping the same price tag. I hope they don't go and start increasing the price tag like crazy because we've seen a lot of manufacturers do that and that kind of fizzles out their cheaper lineup. So personally, I love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.